Hey, you guys. So, last night was the eviction episode of Big Brother Over the Top, and Shane, bitch, you left. Goodbye. I loved his uh, his eviction speech. I thought it was awesome. He pretty much slayed everybody with words, and I personally love it when house guests do that. Like, I loved it when, um, Cornbread, when he left and he told them all, he was like, fuck y'all. I was like, yes, Cornbread. I love that shit. And I loved it when Shane was like, I'm not going to give any of you guys any hugs because you guys suck. You guys are shitty people. I love that. I thought it was funny. Scott's reaction to it had me laughing also when he was like, yeah, Monty probably felt the same way. <laughs> Like, that was some serious-ass shade right there. Um, and I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> this season, I can't even stress it enough. This season has been fucking awesome. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm trying not to cuss as much. This season has been awesome. And I love it. So, it came down to a tie between Danielle and Shane which is exactly what Danielle wanted. Justin, Mr. Loose Lips, he, I think it was the previous day, Tuesday? I think it was on Tuesday. He had gone on into the yoga room or whatever it's called, the side room, I don't remember. And he had told Danielle what the plan was pretty much, that the target was Shane. So what she wanted them to do was vote for her. She wanted to make sure it was a tie which is what happened, because she wanted Scott to man up and be the one to make the move, to choose who to go home, and that's how it worked, that's what happened, and Shane, Scott, ugh, Scott chose Shane to go, which I knew would happen, it was funny, because Scott was giving some stupid ass, fake ass speech about wanting to get Shane out, and Shane was like, I don't want to hear it, I thought that was funny. Because I really didn't want to hear it either. It was like, I couldn't care less about what you have to say about this, Scott. Like, nobody cares. And I do not know, like, is it mandatory for him to make a stupid speech? Because I don't see why it would be mandatory for... And that's what he had said. He's like, Shane, I have to make a speech. And I was like, do you really? I, don't, I, I really don't think you have to make a speech, but you do you. Get your airtime, like, whatever, it is what it is, but I don't think you need to make a speech, guy. Anyways, Chrissy's reaction was ridiculous. Chrissy, what the hell? Like, why are you reacting like that? Homegirl was sobbing like she, like, her boyfriend had just died. Well, she wasn't sobbing, but she was definitely throwing, like, a tantrum. And she went off on Scott when Scott tried to give her a fake hug. Which, I don't understand why people try to do that shit, like, even, even Shane was like, I'm not giving you guys a hug, like, I'm not gonna do this fake hug crap with, with the plastics, that's who he was talking, with you guys, um, which, I wouldn't want to either, you, you guys just voted my sexy ass out of the house, now I can't, now I'm not, uh, able to win, yeah, I'm not gonna go and give you guys a nice sexy ass hug, like, that's not even about to happen, um, so I, I totally get it. But, yeah, you know, Chrissy, she was throwing a little tantrum, acting like her boyfriend just left her. And when Scott tried to give her a hug, she just, like, went off. She kept saying, he was a real person, okay? Who you just evicted, he was a real person. Like, no shit, he was a real person, Chrissy. They're all real people. Like, calm down, Chrissy. I hate it when she cries. It could just be because, like, I'm an unemotional, possibly evil human being. Not really, okay? I just don't like people who cry. Like, when they cry. But then again, I sob during my favorite shows. Like, Game of Thrones has me sobbing all the time. Spartacus had me sobbing. Every, I mean, the True Blood series finale had me dying. So I cry over stupid shit like that. But I just, I can't, I, like, I, it's like, Chrissy, why are you crying like that over Shane? She was acting like they were besties. 
I hardly saw them ever have, like, serious one-on-one -on -one conversations. Although, on Tuesday night, he did, like, kind of break down like a little bitch. And he was crying in the bathroom to Chrissy, which I thought it was funny. It reminded me of Polly, and we know how I feel about that. It's like, perk the hell up, guy. And then what's his, what's his business about not campaigning against somebody? Like, hello. Because that's what Danielle said when Justin spilled the news about Shane being the target. She's like, I'm not going to campaign against him. Like, I get it, Danielle. You like him. I understand, okay? He's really talented. But you have a son, so yes, you should be campaigning. But, but I don't know. If it were me, I'd campaign all day, every day, whenever I need to, because that's just how you play this game. But, like, I don't know why my bra strap keeps showing. Sorry, guys. Anyways, moving on from all that. Um, so Paul, he came by and he stopped by the house. Oh, I almost forgot to say, I loved it when Chrissy was going off. <laughs> And stupid ass Scott, like really, I can't with you, dude. He was like, "Are we gonna still be able to play Call of Duty when we get out of the house?" Really, Scott? It was so funny. She's like, "You just evicted a human being." Okay, I get that, but are we still gonna play Pac-Man when we get out of here? Like, are we still got a, a Call of Duty date, right? We're still gonna hang out and play video games? Like, that's all he cared about. <laughs> it was so funny to me. Like, I was cracking up. I was crying. I was like, is this guy really just sitting, like, she just pretty much called you a shitty-ass person, and all you care about is if you guys are still gonna play Call of Duty when you get out of the house? It's like, really? Call of Duty's really overrated now, too. Like, I just did not like Call of Duty. Like, the last one, ugh. My boyfriend's been playing the new Battlefield, and he loves that, so... I mean, that, you know, whatever. Anyways, sorry, so moving back on to Paul. He showed up, and he was extra as hell, which I love. That's why I like Paul. Um, but it was really awkward, because there was a weird-ass tension in the air. I mean, they, they had just had a pretty crazy-ass weird eviction, and... Shane's speech, and there's tears everywhere, and crying, and video games, so he kind of just, like, burst in, like, and it, there was just a weird vibe in the air, and he could feel it, and so maybe it was just me, but tell me in the comments if you felt awkward, too, watching that, because I did. 100% I felt way awkward, but... And then you had Shelby. She's like, I don't know who that is. What's friendship? Like, Shelby, shut up. I was hoping that they had known each other because they both went to the same school. So I was kind of like, I bet you they know each other. They they probably run in the same circle, but I don't know. That's I, that, I think that would be funny, but it's probably not the case. Uh, anyways... So, after, like, ten minutes of just awkward, just, moment, they went outside and they played the HOH comp, which was some weird ball game. Balls, they were flying out of the sky, and they had tokens in them, and they had to take the tokens to Paul, who would give them balls to play skee ball with, and... I don't know. All I know is that there's balls flying from the sky and balls being thrown down little alleyway and Chrissy won. I really wanted Jason or Justin to win because I wanted to see what the hell they would do with it. I think that would be entertaining. But Chrissy, her wiggity whack ass won and ugh. Like Chrissy had serious uh, care package itis. Like, when she got that care package, she was just walking around like she was top shit and it was annoying. So, I can only imagine the HOH itis that is going to overtake her. She is going to be drowning in HOH itis and it's going to be so annoying. But, And then, so they showed her, you know, HOH room and all that. You guys, seriously, like, <sighs> her 
boyfriend, husband, whatever he is, I don't know, he sent her a damn bracelet made of her hair and his hair. A hair bracelet. I'll, I'll give you a moment to think about that for a second. Made a bracelet out of their hair. That's creepy. I'm just going to say that right now. That is some creepy ass shit. But. And then they showed a picture of him. And. He's. Like what? What is going on with your hair guy? Like who told you to do that? Whoever told him that that haircut. Was okay. Should be punched in the face. Seriously. Because it is like this weird like cul-de-sac you know like when men bald and they have like a cul-de-sac on their head but his remaining hair is really long and straight like it, it's it's strange to me and I'm sure that's the look they're going for the strange look and that's cool but I feel like you I feel like you can still look strange but and not have a shitty haircut but to each their own I suppose to each their own Either which way, um, the second anybody sends me a damn hair bracelet, I'm questioning their sanity. So. And you, it was so funny, too, when she pulled that damn hair bracelet out, everybody's face was like, Really? The plastics looked all kinds of confused and scared. They were like, what the fuck is this shit? Even Neely was like, uh, yeah, that's cute, but it's creepy, you know? So, oh my god, and then earlier, <sighs> Chrissy, stop. Earlier, she was like, I know how it feels to be backdoored, because I was backdoored twice. These poor little lambs, they just don't know shit. Chrissy, you were not backdoored, stop. Pump those brakes and never, ever lift your foot from them because you were not ever backdoored. I don't know what the hell she is talking about. So, she needs to stop. Because, Chrissy, no, you do not know what it feels like to be backdoored, so you can just stop right there. Because that's annoying as hell and it really irritated me. It's like these people, they don't know what the definition of backdoor is. And then Monty didn't know what the definition of a floater was. And these people use these damn words. It, it's as if somebody told them, this word is used in Big Brother. So they're like, okay, I'll take that. I'll take it and I'll use it too then. Sound educated in Big Brother lingo. But they don't really know what it is. Like, Chrissy, you were not that bored ever. So just stop that. So, what needs to happen is we need to get those damn sisters out of the house. But at the same time, I'm kind of iffy because I really want to see them, like, go against each other. I want to see them turn on each other. I want to see some fighting happening between them because I have a feeling that outside of the game, they are probably, like, crazy-ass fights, like, cat fights between those two. Like, I could see that happening. I don't know. What I do know is that we need to get one of them out, and the only way to ensure one of them leaves is by putting them both up on the block. So, here's what we gotta do. Uh, Chrissy, she needs to nominate Alex and Shelby, or Alex and Scott, whoever. Either which way, Alex needs to get put up. Then, we, as America, need to vote Morgan up, um, and that way, they... You know, because if we didn't, if we, let's say we nominated Shelby, I don't know. Let's say we nominated Shelby, Chrissy put Alex and Scott up. Morgan can still play in the power of veto, and she could win the power of veto and use it on Alex, which would be horrible, because then that would keep the sisters in the game, and we do not want that. So we need to hope that Chrissy puts Alex up on the block, doesn't really matter who she is up there with, and then we need to, as America, nominate Morgan. Um, for the have-nots, I want... I kind of want Neely as a have-not. Chrissy was my other have-not choice, but... 
<sighs> that's out the window. Uh, so maybe Neely, Justin, and Jason, I guess. Oh, no. Let's do Neely, Whitney, and Justin or Jason. I'd kind of like to see what Justin does with the slop. He's quite the chef. So he's Chef Boyar Justin. So I'd like to kind of see how that is, but... Or maybe Scott could be have not again. Doesn't really matter. I think who I'm going to vote for the care package. I think I'm going to vote for Whitney. Because everybody else is safe in in the you know late night jamboree. They're all safe. They're all good. Justin's good. You know he helped. You know he took Chrissy off the block last week. Jason's good because him and Chrissy are tight. They're cool. So I think I'd like to see Whitney get the hair package because I think Whitney is the only plastic I actually kind of like so but I have a feeling that Shelby is going to be getting the damn care package because America wants to see Shelby as HOH's servant I don't know whatever either which way we need to get the sisters out you guys so let's get on that okay anyways let me know in the comment section who you are going to vote for have not care package and who you think the nom should be and I will see you guys in a few days. Bye! So I was editing and I forgot to talk about something that I really wanted to mention, talk about for a second, and that is Neely's wig that she wore last night. No, Neely. No. Okay. Now, if you love that wig, then hell, you wear the shit out of it. But it was disrespectful. That wig was sad. Sad wig. I know you can do better. It was just strange. The colors didn't blend well at all. It just looks sad, Neely. And I'm going to need you to throw that away. That wig needs to go bye-bye. Okay, I know you can do better in the wig department. So let's... So do better in the wig department, okay, please, because that wig made me sad. You looked beautiful, but it was way too shiny. It was clearly a wig. Like, I... <sighs> Let me know in the comments if you were saddened by that damn wig, because I know everybody in the chat was like, Whoa, why are you wearing that on your head? No. No, her real hair looks way better than that wig did. But, I guess if it makes her happy, then it shouldn't matter. But, I needed to get that off my chest. I thought the wig was disrespectful to the universe. And that's all called, that's sarcasm. So, okay. But seriously, Neely, burn that wig, please.